Riding melodic riffs and leads. For this example, we're going a little bit riding melodic riffs and leads. For this part, we're going back to our transy roots to explain a little bit about the melodic riffs and leads you can add into your arrangement. Trance is perhaps the most emotional genre in electronic music. It can make you want to burst out cheering or start crying for no reason. It has the power to instill pure bliss into the listener. There are so many different subgenres of trance that continue to make it unique to this day. If you're interested in creating your own trance music, whether for fun or try to get your name out there, here are some steps to help you get started. Don't worry. Don't worry, if it doesn't sound great at first, you will get better with practice. Try to be critical of yourself when you write leads or any risks for your music, but also spotting ways you can improve. Remember, you are not at their level until you work your way up there. It takes practice for making riffs. All forms of music are little more than variations of what has come before. When creating music, Remember that you are building not only on the work of others, but on your own set of artistically skills and musical ideas. Repetition is key, but be careful to ensure patterns from. Repetition is key, but be careful to ensure patterns flow well into one and into another and loop seamlessly. If you can If you can easily tag where a looping melody if you can easily tag where a looping melody or sound begins or ends, then you might have a problem. Try to improve the loop trans. Try to improve the loop transition, slow down the effect, or simply use something else. Although sometimes appropriate for certain genres of electronic music, such as hard trance, try not to use tried and over emotional instrumentations and melodies in excess. Synthesized strings are usually the biggest culprit in cases like this. Trance should be compelling and emotional, but not comical. Think of trance as a puzzle. If you make it complex, it takes more and more of your listener understanding to get if you make it simple and vice versa. Generally, make trance as you see it. Because no matter what, you always finish a puzzle, you start regardless of how complicated it is. The same with your arrangement. We put an example here already, you see some kicks, snares, claps, hat, percussions, crashes, effects, loops and everything here, you see the mouse. Now our lead is a really important key point in the track because that brings you up to the euphoria where you want to. So we're going to put it first in the, in the solo mode where you can hear what we prefixed here. So this is our lead or riff we pre-prepared for this track. <laughs> Always remember to try to bring in some emotions in it, it's really important. And of course the bass line that makes everything goes around. We have some examples here, like you can see in the range I prefixed here. We have a kick, a snare, clap, hi-hats, a crash, some loops, and of course the main bass line, a deep bass line, and of course the lead or the riff, which this is all about. First, let's check out the lead we pre-prepared here. <laughs> This is a really important stage around this riff or lead should always be blend nicely, all your rhythmic parts and of course your bass line. So let's hear this in fill. <laughs> As you 
can hear everything goes really well in harmony all together the bass line the the leads we just added and of course the percussion and about the basses well we will go in depth about that more later in another tutorial but this about writing your melodic riffs and leads and the importance of it in a track and this example a trance track <laughs> 